Today on Turn Back Time, we're focusing our attention on technology. This week, Samsung released a brand new health tracker called the Galaxy Ring, which uses AI to monitor health and fitness data. It is the latest product in the wearables market that's currently worth $70 billion and is tipped to double that by the end of the decade. So what other gizmos and gadgets can help with longevity? For more, we welcome back futurist and author Michael McQueen. Hello, mate. Nice Good to morning. see you. Some amazing tech around to help us live longer and stay healthier longer. Yeah. Talk us through the uh, this incredible mouth guard, the concussion mouth guard. Yeah, this has actually come out of research done in the military initially, but now in the sporting field it's really getting some traction. So it's a mouth guard you can wear and it acts as a mouth guard, but also tracks head trauma. So if you have like a heavy tackle or a fall, mm. Mm. it gives data to coaches to know, do I need to pull that player off the field? Because no one wants to inflict head injuries, but often you don't know, like, is it something we can, play, can I play on or not? And mm. so you wear this and get real-time data to essentially prevent long-term injury. So at the moment, NRL and AFL are trialling this. Oh, and World wow. Rugby have made it mandatory for all was, elite level. I was going to lean across because if you can see... I don't know it's if you pretty can, clever, if isn't you it? Can see you see that? Are. There. That's there. There you go. Next, <laughs> there's a bra, and I won't be demonstrating this next one. <laughs> there is a bra that can detect cancer. This yeah, is incredible. This is awesome. So the estimate, if, if they can roll this out, they think they'll save 12 million lives a year with this. Wow. What it does is it does um, what they call interval scans. So it won't replace mammograms, but most of the most aggressive and horrible breast cancers are interval cancers, so they emerge between scans and they're often much more aggressive and fast moving. This will pick up on those and so the great thing about this is it picks up in those in the early stages of these cancers developing and it's about a third of all cancers are these type of ones. So incredibly cool technology come out of MIT That's in the last six months. Could, could I ask, so that would be something that it, the doctor would have or we'd go and buy one of those ourselves? The or? idea is that they want to make this a mainstream thing where you can actually have your own, particularly if you've got risk factors right. and you want to mm. keep an eye on things in between standard scans. And you say developed by somebody who, who lost her Yeah, she lost one. her auntie and saw it happen and so developed this and a team around her at MIT as a result. Amazing. Right. Yeah. Now we have a very fancy watch and set of scales here. Yeah. Uh, what makes them so special? So the first one is this thing called the body scan and this is is actually a very uh, clever set of bathroom scales. It doesn't just take your weight, but this little handle here lifts up and it does um, heart monitoring as well and also does, yeah, segmental, that was beautifully demonstrated, <laughs> um, segmental body composition analysis. So it's quite clever. Um, it's about 600 bucks. It's only released last month, um, but it also has a pregnancy mold mode in it. So if you're pregnant, you can track your health throughout the pregnancy. So that's a really clever, clever piece of tech. The watch is cool. So if you look at this, it's actually just like a normal watch. And yet this can actually measure minute changes in body temperature, which can be early indicators that you're getting sick, but it can also measure things like your heart health. You can do medical grade ECGs. So incredibly really? clever. Again, if you've got heart issues and you mm. want to keep an eye on it, this watch should be worth checking out too. Great. I've never figured out the technology behind the scales where it can measure your fat content and stuff. Yeah, I don't know how they do that. I don't that. know how yeah. they do it. Like you just stand on it and can say you've got, you know, 35% <laughs> fat. It's like there's a hidden camera in there, right? <laughs> and the camera's just looking up going... Looks like you're 35 <laughs> fat. <laughs> Ray Ban, as we move on, uh, yep. has made some glasses for him. <laughs> the camera's probably looking for its concussion mouth guard. <laughs> It's made, uh, what's his, Ray-Ban. Ray-Ban yeah. has done something to help hearing impaired. Yes, yeah, so, it, it, so basically it's got little hearing sensors in it and technology to replace essentially um, a hearing aid if you've got mild to moderate hearing loss. So there's a lot of stigma often with wearing hearing aids, particularly for sure. younger people. Yeah. So you can wear just a set of glasses and it'll double for both of those things. So that only launched in January. But it's That's a really clever. cool, clever little thing, yeah. yeah. And, okay. and an everyday thing, which Correct. can make a big... Yeah. Uh, before we go, uh, there's a new incentive to help us sort of uh, mindlessly scrolling. Uh -huh. Is it the uh, camera on the, uh, <laughs> on the weighing thing? You'll be amazed to us. hear that that's not what it is. Yeah. Um, but it's an app that was developed by Sacconi, so the health or the sports brand, and it's cool. So it's a thing that basically tries to encourage us to move more than we scroll. So the average smartphone user, which is all of us, scroll for, get this, 78 miles a year. That's the distance you're scrolling. And so what they're doing is they'll actually have... There's the app on the phone that measures how far you scroll in any given week or month. What, how many steps your thumb's doing? Pretty much. And then it measures how many steps you're physically doing. And so it's called the, uh, the Marathon Challenge, which is a clever sort of That's name. Funny. And so at the end of the month, if you've walked or r run further than you've scrolled, you unlock discounts and prizes. So it's basically trying to change people's habits, get them less sedentary. Oh, so track, I've scrolled 50 kilometres, so I better walk 52 kilometres. Yes. Or change hands. <laughs> Thank you, mate. Good to see you. I saw this Pleasure. thing you can get, oh. which is a little device you put on your hand so that you don't scroll now. You just, like, do this. Oh, right. Mm, we'll look into that. You we'll go. come back and tell us about that one. <laughs>